All right, this is the uh, learning target number four video. Um, pretty easy learning target here. Um, it's I can compute quotients of mixed numbers, fractions, and whole numbers. So this is just the compute part. So we've already done this on every one of these. We've done fractions of whole numbers, whole numbers to fractions, fraction by fraction. The big difference here is this right here. We're going to talk about mixed numbers a little bit. Okay, so go ahead and flip to that page in your notes. Again, apologize, there's no um, page numbers on this, but it's near the end. I mean, we're getting to the, probably the last few pages there. It should look like this at the top. We did this on the on the uh, last video. We we did some of those, so that should be at the top. So, um, yeah, computing. Now we got to do a, We got to figure out. We got to have a couple definitions here. We have to write down. I'd like everybody to please write down a proper fraction okay a mixed number and then an improper sorry handwriting's bad improper fraction okay so we wrote down proper fraction mixed number and an improper fraction now a proper fraction is with the, with the one you've always learned about okay so one half um, two thirds, three fourths, um, ten, twelve, thirteenth, something like that. Whenever you see a proper fraction, it's actually really comparing a part to a whole. So there's actually not a whole. Okay, a proper fraction is just a part. It is not a whole. In other words, the numerator has to be smaller than the denominator. Okay. So that's a proper fraction. That's the one you've been doing. Okay, now what a mixed number is, it's when you have a whole part and then you also have a fractional part on top of it. Okay, three and seven eighths, doesn't matter. So you have your whole. So here I have th two whole pizzas and a half of a pizza. So two and a half pizzas. Here I have three whole pizzas. So here's my three pizzas. You don't have to draw this. And then I got, if I were to cut this into eighths, Sorry, the handwriting's really bad. And then I basically cut this out. I have, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have three entire pizzas and then seven eighths of a pizza. Okay, that's what it means. Okay? Or if I want to do the one below that, it'd be like this. Or I mean, the one, two and a half would be there's, whoop, sorry. There's one whole pizza, there's two whole pizzas, and now we would have a half of a pizza. Okay? So that's what it is. That's, that's what mixed numbers show. Now, mixed numbers and improper fraction. That's why I totally separated this because I wanted you to see that there is propers are kind of very, very different than mixed numbers and improper. These things actually are kind of the same thing. They're just different ways of showing it. Okay? Proper fractions are always showing less than a whole amount. So always showing a partial. Mixed numbers and improper fractions, they are showing that there's partial, but there could be whole, it, it, it's going to be greater than one, okay? So if I had one and one half, that's a number greater than one because you have a whole and then a half, okay? So an example of a, of a improper fraction now is when the uh, numerator is actually larger than the denominator, so like nine-fourths. So if you have nine-fourths, I mean, that's, you, you have, well, we're going to talk about how to do that here in a minute, but you have two and one-fourth of pizza. You have two holes. Okay, here uh, another example would be four thirds or you know six fifths, whatever, six and the seven halves, anything like that, where the numerator's bigger on the, or the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, so got to know the difference between those first of all. That's first and foremost here. Now, when you divide mixed numbers, first of all, you can't, you cannot do this. There's nothing you can do to do this. Okay, can't do it. Just like you know, there there's really division of fractions. Remember, is just multiplying by the divisor's reciprocal, as I've been saying for every video now. The algorithm division is just multiplication by the divisor's reciprocal. So we know this is going to become multiply. We know this is the reciprocal of two fifths is five halves. Now something has to happen with this guy. We can't bring down one and three fourths. We don't. Do you know how to multiply that? I don't. I have no idea how to multiply this. It's impossible. 
Okay. So what we have to do is we have to actually convert this into a an improper fraction. So we want to put it where in fraction form where there's one number in the numerator and one in the denominator. So basically we're eliminating this whole. Okay? Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. So now let's talk about how we do that. Okay. I have one whole pizza and then I got three fourths of a pizza. Okay. Now, obviously, the pizzas here are cut into fourths. Okay, hopefully you're making that connection, right? I mean, if we have three fourths left, they're obviously cut into fourths. Okay, so now let's think about this pizza. If it's also cut into fourths, if it's also cut into fourths, how many slices do I have in this hole? Well, I have four fourths. Okay, now, think about it. Remember when we're adding fractions, the denominator is always has to be the same, and once you get it to be the same, and it is here, it just always remains the same. And then you just add the top. Four plus three is seven. Okay, that becomes seven fourths. Okay, then it's easy. Then we can multiply straight across like they did down here, and you can see that you get oops, you get thirty-five over eight. Okay, and and then you can also convert that into a mixed number if you wanted to. You don't have to by doing um, thirty-five divided by eight. Okay. 35 divided by 8, 8 goes into 35 four times. 8 times 4 is 32. We subtract and get 3. We check to make sure this is smaller than that it is. Now remember, we got to add. Actually, I don't want to do this. Okay. Now, when you get this, now this is, remember, there was a few weeks ago now, four weeks ago, beginning of the school year, we, we you guys were all doing this. Okay. And I said, and I said, absolutely not. You will not do this ever again in your lives. And you won't. You won't. But what that means is, what you're actually doing, guys, and you didn't even realize it when you were doing this in elementary school, what you're saying is you have three left. Well, you have three pieces, but what makes a whole? Look, that's the pizza. The pizza's cut into eighths. So you have three slices remaining out of eight. So right there's how you turn it into a mixed number. Okay? So the remainder just becomes your numerator and uh, the number outside becomes your um your uh denominator. Okay, your divisor becomes your denominator. Okay. Denominators will always stay the same when you're converting these, by the way. Okay, just like here, we had fourths, it stayed as fourths. Okay. Let's go up and do one more. I want to make sure you guys Maybe you have room down here. If not, just watch. But please try to write this. Um, two and two-thirds. Now let's think about this. How do we turn this to a mixed number? Okay. Or I mean, it is a mixed number. How do we turn it into an improper fraction? Well, again, let's think about it. Here I have two holes. Over here I have two-thirds. So the pizza is cut into thirds. Okay. So how many thirds would this actually be? It would actually be six thirds, because six divided by three is two. So if I have six thirds plus two thirds, I'm gonna get eight thirds. That's how we do that. Okay? So a lot of you probably are not quite sure what I'm saying. I want you to I'm still gonna explain it like that, but there is a little bit of a trick. Okay, and I wasn't gonna teach this, but I think it's it's gonna be possible. When you do this, you actually what I always my teacher always taught me they called it around the barn, and I have no idea. Maybe it's because I was in a farm school. I don't know, but they called it around the barn, and they always did the denominator times the whole number, and then they added on whatever the numerator was. So let's do it. Three times two is six, plus two equals eight, and then your denominator always stays the same. So that's a little trick there. So let's do another one, okay? So let's do... Uh, I don't know, three and what do you want to three and three fourths. Okay. So if I were doing it the way I taught you initially, you have your you have your three holes, and then you have three fourths as your partials. Okay. So I have my three holes. There's my partial. It's cut into fourths. So I need to cut this into fourths. I need to figure out what 
divided by 4 would give me 3. It'd be 12. So that means 12 fourths plus 3 fourths would give me 15 fourths. That's what that would be as an improper fraction. Well, let's use the, as my teachers called it, the around the barn method, which is just goofy enough to remember. Okay, we went around the barn, around the barn. So we multiplied here, we added here. 4 times 3 is 12. Just multiplying here, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 equals 15. Denominator stays the same. There you go. We get back to our original number. Okay? All right, let's go to the next page. Okay? You can see what they, let's just skip all that. Let's just go down here. So here I'm given two mixed numbers. So what I got to do is I got to convert both those to improper fractions because you can't multiply or divide for, uh, mixed numbers. You just can't do it. So if I think about five and a half as um, I think about the number five and one half, it's cut in a halves. So I think, well, this would have to be 10 over two. It's going to give me 11 halves. That's what five and a half is. Now, if you want to do the around the barn method, we do times two plus one. Plus, five, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11 over 2. Divided by um, times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So that's going to become 5 in my numerator. 2 comes down. Now I'm just at this step. And you guys know you can't divide fractions. You can't do it. Because division is just multiplication by the divisor's reciprocal. So now we got to rewrite this problem as 11 over 2. Divide becomes multiply 2 over 5. And I'm going to get 22 over 10, which simplifies because we can um, divide by 2 from the top and the bottom. 11 over 5. Okay. Now if you wanted to turn that to a mixed number, remember, do 5 goes into 11 two times. 10, subtract. we got a remainder of 1, 2, and 1 fifth. Remember, your denominator always stays the same. So right here's your denominator. Here's your divisor, what I'm saying. Or 2 and 1 fifth. Either one of those is absolutely correct. Okay? All right. Um, last one, I'd like you to go ahead and try A and B, and then we will be done. Try A and B, and then we'll be done. Okay, hopefully you did those. Okay, the first thing you got to do is you got to turn them into um, improper fractions. So again, improper meaning the, the, number, the, the bigger number should be on top. So I do 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 is 19 over 8. Okay, denominator always stays the same. Divided by one fourth. Well, wait a minute. We can go ahead and do this because division is just multiplying by the reciprocal, the divisor's reciprocal. So division becomes multiplication. Four over one is the reciprocal of one fourth. Nineteen times four is thirty-eight. Seventy-six, I think. I hope. Anyway, don't have a calculator close, and I don't think you guys want to see me punch it in. I need to simplify this, so I'm going to divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. It's going to give me um, 38 over 4. And then I'm going to divide it by 2 again because they both have a factor of 2. I'm doing the same thing to the bottom that I did to the top. It's going to give me 19 over um, 2. Or I'm going to get 9 and 1 half. Okay. Going back to this real fast, I want to show you guys this. Remember, I way back when I showed you how to cross simplify these problems, and you can still do that. It's a good little trick to use. Okay, if you see numbers that are diagonal from each other, that can you can divide out a number that they share a factor that they share, then do that. Eight and four. I know I can divide four out of both of these. Okay, four divided by four is one. Eight divided by four is two. Now it becomes much easier. I do 19 times 1, it gets us right to that step. So it's all about finding a common factor, if they have a common factor. Okay? Um, this one over here, oh, real quick, if I would have done 19 divided by 2, 19 divided by 2 to get turned to a mixed number, 2 goes into 19 9 times, 9 whole times, 
That's 18. I get a remainder of 1. 9 and 1 half. Remember, that's what we had to begin with. we got to always keep our denominators the same. Okay? Okay? Let's do this one real fast. Turn it to a mixed number. Remember, times and add. That's going to be 5 halves divided by 3 sevenths. Now, we got to do the make it multiplication. 5 halves times 7 thirds is going to give me 35 sixths, which... We want to turn it to a mixed number becomes this. Six goes into thirty-five five times. That's thirty. We get a remainder of five. Five and five sixths. Either way is correct. And you can always check it by going, as I said before, around the barn. Six times five is thirty. Plus five is thirty-five. And again, denominators always stay the same. Okay? Alright, guys. Um that should have been relatively easy, and I think you guys deserved it because the first several learning targets are extremely difficult. So, see you guys tomorrow.